Hi folks, today we're gonna talk about some batch script for Windows. Specifically, 4 slash F loop, and especially a tokens attribute of the 4 slash F loop. We're gonna have a look with the simplest example let's start with this it's very easy to get confused First of all, the delimiter is the space. So, potentially, um, the maximum number of tokens we can get is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's because delimiter is, is the space. But it is also affected by the tokens. And in this case, this character over here, this means the whole thing, this whole thing. Let's have a look. Try again. As you can see, the whole thing. But you can achieve the same effect by get ring get rid of the tokens altogether and set the limiter to nothing. Then you will have the same effect. as you can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G A, B, C, D, E, F, G but in this video I'm not gonna concentrate on the delimiter I'm gonna concentrate on different tokens so Let's try a simple variation. So if you do one and then this character, what it will do, you will have two tokens. First token will be A, the second token will be the, the rest. So let's do it. A refers to the first token, B refers to the next token. You cannot do like Z or C or any other character, it has to be consecutive letters. If the first is referred to by A, the second has to be B. I'll just uh, comment just, just for your own information. Here you will output this, the whole thing. same here here you will you will output a then the rest let's see see a and the rest this is same as like this one 
then this, then that. Same thing. But here I'll just leave it like this. Actually, I'll leave it like this. This is more intuitive. Let's try. Like this. Here. It will be A. Then C. Then the rest. Oops. There's there are three three tokens. So you have to Yep, so it will be first token will be A because it's one C because it's three. I'll make it like this. Oops. Like this. First token is A, second token is C, which is 3 here, and then this means the rest. So these are the three tokens A, C, and then the rest. Yep, A, C, and the rest. Next example. Yeah. The first token will be D. Then the rest. There are two tokens. So D and the rest. See? D and the rest. Now, next example. Now I will not use this character at all in this example. 1 to 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3. Example here. It will be A, B, C. A, B, C. As I said, this is equal to one, two, three. Try same last one let's try 6 to 7 this will be F and G two tokens F and G. Yep, F and G. So that's my go at the F at the four slash F loop, especially different varieties of you could use different ways you can use the tokens attribute. Just a reminder, the first two example, if you, if you use this, it will give you the same thing as this. I will illustrate that. I want to replicate this example. 
what it does it reads each line from files text and uh, it will retrieve the file name from each line so the first line gives you the first file second line gives you the second file then copy from here to here Yeah, I'll sh first I'll show you the files text. It has three files, one on each line. What I want to get get across is you could use this the same as here. But as we gone through before, you could also use this to to achieve the same effect. You couldn't just do the blank delimiter or this token over here they will do the same thing does the same thing I guess that's all folks thank you